Hi everyone, this is Mr. Born from Minnesota, and you're about to watch Gauss Jordan Elimination the easy way. The goal of Gauss Jordan Elimination is to take an original matrix and through row operations, more on that in a second, to make it row reduced echelon form. Now, uh, row reduced echelon form, you'll notice, has these ones along the diagonal, and the rest are zeros. And uh, what that gives us is that gives us the solution to a system of equations where x equals 1, y equals 4, and z equals negative 2 in, for this particular example. First, a few terms that I'm going to use in this video. Augmented matrix and rows. Um, an augmented matrix is what you will create when you are given a system of three equations in three variables by using the coefficients of the variables. And what I mean by that is um, when you look at this first uh, equation here, the x plus y equals 3, um, when you have no number in front of the variable, you can just assume that that's a 1. And um, you might be wondering where the 0 comes from in that first row. Uh, just You can go ahead. If there's not a variable, you can assume that that would be um, a 0 variable. So you can just put in 0z plus 3. The second row is uh, pretty self-explanatory. And the third row... Uh, doesn't have any variable x. So again, you can go 0x plus 3y minus 2z is equal to 17. Uh, please note, if one of the coefficients is negative, that that's got to come across in your augmented matrix. What you're seeing here is a 3 by 4 matrix. You name a matrix by rows and then columns. Now the way that you get a matrix into RREF form is through row operations and you can add, subtract, multiply, and divide a row at a time. Now what R3 colon 3R3 means is it means take the third row, multiply everything by 3, and then put it back. So uh, here's how it works. Uh, you take row 3, multiply everything by 3. That becomes 3. This becomes 6, negative 6, and over here is 51 and then you put it back. And that's an example of multiplication. You can also add or subtract a row from another. Here this means row 3 will be replaced by uh, row 3 subtract away row 1. And so bring down row 3 here. We're going to subtract away row 1, and here we've got 0, 1, 1 subtract negative 2, negative 3, and this is 14. And so these will replace row 3, and right like that. You can also combine row operations. Here we see row 3 will become row 3 plus twice whatever the values are in row 1. So here's row 3. We're going to add it to twice the values of what we see in row 1. And this would be 3, 4, 0, 23. And these values will replace what's in row 3. OK, let's walk through the process of using row operations to go from an original matrix and we're going to turn it into a fully row reduced echelon form. Now uh, we're going to keep track here with the in progress matrix and right now they are both the same because we haven't done anything yet. Our first row operation is going to be row 3 becomes row 3 minus row 1 and here's what it looks like. Row 3 is 1, 3, negative 2, 17, we're going to subtract away row 1, and row 1 is 1, 1, 1, 3. Subtract 0, 2, negative 3, and this is 14. So row 3 we are going to replace with 0, 2, negative 3, 14. All right, our next row operation is going to be row 2, subtract twice the values of row 1. 
what this will do is this will put a zero in this two position right here and that'll get us closer to rho reduced echelon form two three seven zero minus twice the values in row one which is two 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 six we get negative six five one and zero okay let's update the in-progress matrix okay next I'm thinking we should try and make this two right down here in row three we should somehow turn that into a zero so we're gonna have row three subtract twice the values in row two zero two negative three fourteen zero two ten negative twelve and subtract zero zero negative thirteen and we are subtracting a negative number so that's like adding this would be positive twenty six okay now at this point we're in a good position for row three because if we want this uh, third column third row element negative thirteen to become a one all we have to do is divide it by negative 13. And so here's what that looks like. Okay, and we'll update the row. Okay, I'm going to move this up a little bit over here. We've got a few more to go. All right, now let's work on row one. I want this element to turn into a zero. We're getting close here with the, the rest of it. So we're going to do row one minus row two. Okay, one, zero, negative four, nine. Let's update row one. Okay, so if we want to turn this negative 4 into a 0, one way we can do that is multiply the third row and subtract it away from row 1. The zeros here, even if we multiply them by 4, there will still be 0. Okay, whoops, I made a little error here. I'm going to turn this into a plus. Okay, so it's not all about subtracting. Here we go. This will work nice. Okay, and now we'll replace row 1 with what we've got right here. Okay, one final row operation. We want this 5 right here to become a 0 because then we'll have zeros everywhere except for the diagonal and the diagonal needs to be 1. Okay, and then we update the row. And at this point, we've got a row reduced echelon form. So our first value for x is 1, our value for y is 4, and our value for z is negative 2. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching this Gauss Jordan elimination the easy way. If you found this helpful at all, please help me out by hitting the like button. You can also find some other things at www.andyborn.com math. All right. See you. Bye.